what is up tiktok let's see so this product has been sitting around just like every other viral hack product makeup like at this point i can literally turn my house into a sephora and just sell all that shit because it's unused it's brand new it's all viral stuff so why not use it finally i've had this for i don't know like weeks probably like a few months by now since i've seen a hack on this so as you can see it's not opened yet it's still packaged it's from perfect diary and it's the weightless soft velvet blurring loose powder so let's see what's so magical about it so i have my makeup done except for blush i just have contour and i put just a little bit of uh, concealer not too much but it is full coverage so with that concealer you really don't need much it's the mac one i chose the shade one it says one on the back so i'm guessing that's the shade and it looks like translucent and i've always used my good old faithful uh laura mercier i just like it i also have been liking this elf one that's just cheaper and just nice but i haven't tried this at all but i've seen it all over tiktok i'm sure you have too and on here we only deliver the truth honey i am not sponsored i don't accept money i get brand deals all the time but i just i'm not a good liar and i'm not gonna do that <clears throat> we're not shading anyone but uh okay so you get seven grams of product you get a little puffer so that's cute i actually appreciate that because with the brands i like you don't get a puffer you kind of have to buy them by itself so it has like a little room for it that's pretty cute it's like a looks like a little pot okay and then when you open it you get this thing but i think it's just like a protector i don't think i'm gonna use their puff so it says perfect diary on it as well i think i'm just gonna apply it with my semi damp beauty blender like i do with the rest i'm just gonna pour a little bit into the cap of the product like i do with my others and then just like bake and i'll wait off camera and then come back with like blush on whatnot just to see you know what this product does so i'm just gonna apply a generous amount just to give it a really good uh, sorry i have to open my mouth yeah i'm gonna look crazy for a little bit but we're gonna do the baking off camera because i'm gonna wait as much as possible get the full benefits and then come back to you with straightforward answers opinions so i'm kind of zoomed out right now but i just i'm gonna bake underneath my contour as well as underneath my eye just so you guys can see what i'll be doing for the next maybe like 10 minutes and what else did i want to say that i want to apply blush so that'll be my last makeup step and just like a little you see the bronze in my um I, I cannot talk today in my crease i just want to add the same color on the bottom of my lashes with a little bit of mascara that's really all the changes i'm going to be doing to my makeup but other than that i'm really here to review this perfect diary viral loose powder let's see Alrighty, guys so i zoomed you a little bit in but just to zoom you in further looks good I have nothing bad to say about the product except the scent like i don't know if it was the box that stank but i think the product actually had some kind of smell to it but the box like when i first removed the product just had a stench and i had to immediately go and throw it out or right after i cut off the first part of the video is when i went and just tossed the whole packaging out I, i'm not doing it yeah so I'm not sure if they offer returns that's not what i'm looking for but to people that want to ask just to save you a future question i um, i really have no idea but i can check that out for you guys and i like it it's nice it's holding up so far but i do want to wear it out and then come back and tell you guys my actual final thoughts how it held up because i have an oily face so let's see if it breaks up i do want to say my only skin prep was a tatcha eye cream just like you know where you apply it and uh, first aid beauty moisturizer and then my setting spray is just this make it last and you guys need to stock up on it please because what the heck amazon they're trying to overcharge and i'm not doing that it's probably independent sellers i'm not i'm not here to help you make your pockets happy honey i want to make i want to spend my money but not when you're hustling me okay so if anyone knows where i could get this for the same price as a drugstore 
a pharmacy, whatever. Awesome. Anyway, so yeah, I just went ahead and set everything up with this, but I'm gonna let you know exactly what I think after a few hours. So it's been a really hot day today. I ran errands. I've been all around town, like literally the furthest drive and back and forth and back and forth. And yeah, in a really, really hot day, but honey, it hasn't moved. It hasn't moved. And my face by this time would be super oily. Like you could see the oils pouring through. It's to the point where you can cook on my face. That's a joke that I always make. You can literally fry chicken on my face if you wanted to, if you needed to. I like it, except for only on one eye, there's like a little white dot and I'm assuming it's the powder because it's sure enough not my eye cream or concealer because neither of those things are white, like white, white. But other than that, I like it. I mean, it's not bothering me. It hasn't bothered anyone else. And I feel like it's a little patchier on the sides of my nose for some reason, like when you get close to the nostrils. But other than that, it's, it's really not bothering me. I don't think it's picking up on camera, but still have to be truthful. Other than that, yeah, I could see myself using it again. Why not? I mean, I paid for it, so I'm definitely gonna use it. And yeah. I like it so go out there and get you some if not i would say that the laura mercier is a little more finely milled at least to my liking and it's not as white because this literally i tend to wear darker foundations because i'm pretty light especially around this time of um year even though i live in california but still we've been getting nothing but rain except for today so i thought it was a perfect day to test it out for you guys but i like it i'm gonna use it again and yeah I can see myself using it for future uses. Final, final thoughts. I do like the product. I can see myself using it again, minus the patches. Maybe I'll just uh, set better because my uh, the setting spray that I used today was like down to its last few drops. So I think it was just a little too much, a little too blotchy, um, like where it creates little spots. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. I'm just a makeup artist, a professional one. 14 years, honey, going on 15, okay? So, no, I like it. I'm gonna use it again, it's nice. Get it, I think it was only $24, that's really not bad. I'm sure you can sign up to get some kind of free shipping and whatnot, but if I find a way, I will let you beauties know because I'm here to help my dolls. Let's all look good, 2023. Let's all kill it together. Anyway, till next time, guys.